His band Kiss was one of the first bands ever to use full makeup, and in this star story, he talks about how his famous rock group Kiss came to be. It started very naturally. We were playing in a club called Coventry in Queens, Long Island, uh, the beginnings of Long Island, and we were then called Wicked Lester, and nobody was in the audience. And we figured, what the heck? I know we can't say hell, so we're saying heck. So we went downstairs, and there was some, I guess, some sort of theatrical troupe that was there before us, and there was makeup on the table, you know, magically. And so we went downstairs, and there were some capes and strange hats, and we got dressed up. And the makeup that we put on that night, just for the hell of it, the makeup we put on that night is the makeup that we kept wearing, and that night we just changed ourselves and called ourselves Kiss. There was nobody in the audience. Hey, let's close out, you know, we don't want anybody to know that Wicked Lester was here, you know. And that was the name of the band then. So we changed the name of the band <coughs> that night with the logo, with the makeup, everything in one fell swoop. And a year later, we were playing Madison Square Garden. Yep. Gene Simmons of Kiss. Gene, you're an actor. What are you doing in here? I'm producing a group called Keel, which is a new heavy metal band on uh, A&M Records. How do you like the hairstyle, huh? It's I great. combed everything back so you guys wouldn't think I was too strange looking. <laughs> it's sort of this length, naturally. You like I, that? I right, comb mine back. Mine looks like that. Comb back that. Yeah. <laughs> I have more going down the back of my shirt, but just for you people out there, because I know you don't want a too strange of a looking guy talking to you. So how's this now? You look great. Thank you. You look great. Gene, you just did an episode of Hitchhiker, mm -hmm. which is going to be shown on HBO. Um, want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, there's a bag of cocaine that is found on the streets of New York or on the streets of any big name town. And what happens is a character called Rat picks it up and then another character picks it up. And it's really what happens to these people as the bag of cocaine goes up the ladder and how it affects everybody's life. And then it finally gets to Mr. Big. <laughs> the price is too high. Was it eerie on the set? I mean, booga booga? Um, it was actually freezing. We filmed it in Vancouver, the same place um, I filmed Runaway, uh, which is, as I understand it, coming to HBO <laughs> even as we speak. Yes, it is, starring Tom Selleck and Starring Gene Tom Simmons. Selleck and Cynthia Rhodes. Yes. Now, what was it like working with one of the main heartthrobs, I guess, of the 80s for America, Mr. Selleck? Tom is a real gentleman. Um, he treated me absolutely as an equal. It was my first day on the set, so I left all the, the trappings of rock and roll dumb back. No bodyguards, no limousines, none of that stuff, and just went by myself because I knew that there was a, a stigma. Who does this guy think he is? You know, you can play to 20,000 people, but here, buddy, you're nothing. So you have to leave all that stuff behind and come on the set and show people that you're anxious to learn and you're there as a, as a fellow worker, but also as a student because I'm not experienced with it. Regardless of how many classes you can t you take, the doing of it is still new, so I shut my mouth and I was a good boy, and I got on the set, and uh, two or three days into the set, Tom came over and, and said, would you like to have a drink, sailor? No, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> We're just getting too serious here. No, he came over and he said, if I can ever help you, just ask me, um, and if you've got any thoughts about anything, just do it. Doesn't matter if you fail or not, just as long as you follow your instincts and he treated me very nicely. So be sure to watch it this good. No, it's, it's a good flick. I now think how, do you, how do you juggle the acting in the uh, musical careers, uh, which takes precedent? I don't think um, I take precedent. Whether it's now or later, I mean, there's time to do everything. A lot of people don't understand it, but that's okay, because other people don't have they have limited visions, limited dreams. People sometimes only want to be a successful doctor or so that's all I want is to be a doctor. Well, I want to, I want to, I want it all. <laughs>